is your organization postponing, downgrading, or even completely abandoning performance management because of COVID-19? Well, you are certainly not alone. Right. Performance management is too difficult right now because employees are working remotely and cannot do their work the way that they used to. Many are also separating performance from pay decisions. For example, Facebook has announced that they will give everybody the same exceeding expectations rating during the first quarter of 2020. Hi, I am Herman Aguinnes from the George Washington University, and I've been conducting research and consulting on performance management for more than 20 years. And my name is Jingberg Tian. I received my doctoral degree in human organizational learning, and I also teach performance management to MBA students at the George Washington University. Our article in Business Horizons explains why your organization should not abandon performance management. We explain why performance management is especially important during a time of crisis. Are you wondering why? First, a performance management system helps us communicate changes in the strategic goals of your firm. It also helps us collect information that we use to provide critical feedback to individuals and teams so they can improve their performance. And of course, we use performance management for collecting critical business data that are useful to retain top talent and also protect us from legal risks. So in our article, we explain why instead of limiting or even discontinuing performance management, we should actually adapt the performance management system to help us not only survive, but also thrive after the crisis is over. Our article shows you how to measure performance with a new tool that is simple, convenient, informative, adaptable, and standardized. We describe how to use performance promoter score a measure extrapolated from the well-established and valid net promoter score in marketing. PPS starts with one simple yet powerful question. On a scale of one to 10, how likely is it that you would recommend working with someone to a friend or a colleague? It follows up with two open-ended questions. Why did you provide the rating that you provided? And what would it take to raise the score by just one point? A net performance promoter score ranges from negative 100% to positive 100%, and it's calculated by subtracting the percentage of detractors from the percentage of promoters. Our Business Horizons article teaches you how to use PPS to measure performance. But from our perspective, perhaps even more importantly, how to use PPS to improve the performance of individuals and teams. And to make it easier for you to learn how to use PPS, we included an example of ratings received by a manager. Of course, as much as we provide evidence about the usefulness of performance promoter score, we also know that some people will try to game the system, as is the case with most performance management systems. So we also explain how to minimize four major frequent types of biases. COVID-19 is forcing us to be creative, innovative and adaptable. The performance promoter score is an innovation that is clearly useful during the crisis, but because it is an easy and practical tool to measure and to improve performance, we are confident that you will continue to find it useful after the crisis is over. Thank you very much for your time. Please get in touch if you have any questions about how to roll out and maximize the benefits of PPS.